Eat that dude up. Put it in there. Then one one way. Then one the other. When you're doing that, you want to push up against that. Now you got two circles right there. Then you heat this back up and you you want this symmetrically, so I'm gonna bring this one, I'm gonna bring it out around a little bit. This is when you start separating it. You get a good heat back in there. Try to bring them both equal distance out. You want that to be even with the center line. And where your marble will go in there. Marble won't quite go yet. I'm using the industrial coke and the, the lumps in there is pretty heavy, so it's not like blacksmith coal where you can get in there pretty easy. Now that, that's looking pretty good. My marble will go in there now. You want the uh, the one that's the farthest apart is the one you want to do it. Uh, when you go over to anvil, actually that's a little bit wide, but uh, this is a process I use and works pretty good. I use my Pritchett hole to help study. You want to have everything ready, which I didn't have. I had the wrong hammer there. That one there, I chipped the marble a little bit. I'm working in the sunlight. I'm doing everything so I can Usually that don't happen. Now hold it in there while it's there you want to wire brush it. Find my wire brush. Can't find it.
You know, notice, I've got a big hammer. You gotta be really, really lightful in there. Uh, if you have, if you don't have a, a, a radius uh, damper here in your pitcher hole, get a piece of wood and, and smash it down with a big ball peen hammer where you have an indentation. Wet the wood. Come over here, insert your marble, and gradually lean it over like this here. And uh, then smash this side down here. You want this here perpendicular. Uh, the one side is open, is the one one up this way, and then down. This is in there pretty good. I got the ends. I got the ends pretty good. Where they're not sticking out or nothing, they ain't going to snag nothing, and the marble is a little loose, it will roll in there. Now, after I got this done, uh, what I'll do, I'll, I'll wire brush the whole thing, power wire brush it, except for up in here. And I get, I get that too, I got a, a buffing, uh, a buffer that goes to so RPMs uh, for waxing cars and stuff. And that works pretty good with a soft brush. I'll, uh, I'll coat these with clear varnish. And then this, this part here goes around the marble. Uh, I'll take an artist brush. I'll, I'll spray this part here. This is still hot. I'll spray this part here and I'll take an artist brush and I get up in there as much as I can all the way around there. I have uh, sprayed this whole thing and a lot of times it depends on the marbles. Uh, it mess messes the marble up and it discolors it and it looks real milky looking so that's the reason I use the artist brush. Don't look too bad. That's the reason I'm, I'm saying these tines could have been a little bit smaller or they could be they could this could come on around more so it's not that critical it don't take much to hold that marble but you just don't want way too much If you ever haven't haven't used a convenience bin, a lot of times it's a good thing drawing out tines. Put it in the vise and bend it. This leg here, you, now you can draw it out on ammo. It makes it a lot easier if you if you got long handles. If you got a real short piece, it's not worth doing. You don't want a sharp bend either. You want a good radius so you can straighten it back up. Now when you you work this tine out and you measure it. Then you heat this back up, you put it back in the vise, and you bend it the other way, and then you draw the other tine out. If you got a big enough radius, you can actually draw this on the horn, and then you can draw it on the back side of the horn like this. If the horn will fit back here on the end of the horn. I'll show you real quick. And you draw it out like this. Draw this one out like this too. A lot of times it's it's better just to go ahead and bend it the other way. But there's all kinds of ways of doing everything. I'm just trying to show you another way of doing it. Like I said, take your piece of wood, take your ball peen, hammer and make an indentation there, and soak this in water and we'll see how it works.
Actually, it didn't turn out bad. It's a, uh, it's a little loose. The ends are back up in there, and everything. and uh, these are a little bit heavy. Reading is, is, if these are a little bit lighter, it'd be. This is a 516 stock. So I had these a little bit heavy, and it's hard to get down in there. But uh, the thing is, this is the letter opener on my first tape that was all messed up in there, and what I did, I heated it up in the forge. I took that marble out, and then I reshaped the, the tines on it, and then I did it on this wet wood here. So there's more than one way to skin a cat, and thanks for watching.